These are the guidelines for the operation of the Delastall Compressor Automatic Installer Machine. The following instructions shall be followed to ensure the safe and proper installation of DS Brown's Elastic Preformed Pavement Compression Seal. First, make sure that all levels of oil and gas are confirmed before starting the engine. The oil should be on the threads, but make sure not to overfill. Check it each morning before operation of the machine. Make sure the fuel has been topped off. Next, place a can of glue in the holder making sure the can is secured inside the brackets. And then insert the suction line and return line into the glue bucket. Pick up the seal reel and put it into the spool cradle, inserting one end first before setting the other end into place. The on and off valves shown here control the glue flow. Right now they are in the closed position. The bottom valve controls the glue flow going into the head of the machine. When pointing to the front of the machine, it is in the on position. The handle on the left is a three position switch and controls the amount of glue going to the head when the bottom valve is opened. Fully opened, partially opened. The valves are put in the closed position to get a consistent flow of lubricant adhesive through the suction line before releasing material to the head of the machine. The handle shown here controls the up and down position of the machine. In this position, it is down on the deck. The engagement clip locks it in place, thus preventing the disengagement from the joint. This lever controls the start and stop of the machine. Picking it up and pulling it back starts the machine. Picking it up and pushing it forward stops the machine. This foot pedal controls the center discharge blade. When placed in the down position, it is placing seal. When moving the machine, both pedals must be in the up position. When starting the machine, make sure the fuel on-off switch is turned to on, shown here, and that the on-off switch as well as the choke are in the on position, as shown here. Verify that the auto installer is in the up position. Turn the glue control valve on to recirculate the glue to the bucket. Engage the drive system using the motion control rod. Turn the handle clockwise, pull it back and rest it on the engagement clip. Allow the drive system to run for two or three minutes to circulate glue through the system. Check for a good consistent flow. With the machine in the up position, start the seal into the tube guide and continue to manually feed the seal until the compression blades secure the seal. Run the machine in the up position until rubber has run through the compression blades. Center the Delastall compressor over the joint as close to the edge of the slab as possible. Lower the machine into the joint by stepping on the foot pedal, pushing down on the handles, and pulling the trip lever toward the handles. Lower the discharge blade to the operating position by stepping on the discharge blade foot pedal. Begin installing the compression seal. Take a 
10-foot section of seal and lay it along the joint. Think in terms of inches. 10 feet equals 120 inches. 1% 1 of stretch equals 1.2 inches. The Army Corps of Engineers allows up to 2% of stretch. 1% is what they would like to see, but 2% is accepted. To adjust the stretch of the seal, you must adjust the seal guide system. This includes the two compression blades and the single discharge blade. Adjust the two compression blades equally. One quarter turn on the bolt on the left side must be countered by one quarter turn on the right side. Loosening the bolts will widen your blades and decrease the stretch and compression on the seal. Tightening the bolts will tighten your compression blades and increase the stretch and compression on the seal. Adjust both compression blades equally so they stay on the deck. Loosen the locking nut and make a quarter turn. Repeat this process on the other side. To adjust the discharge blade depth, lower the Delastol compressor into a joint by stepping on the discharge blade foot pedal. Using a 5 8 inch wrench, turn the depth adjustment bolt clockwise to increase the depth and counterclockwise to decrease the seal depth. To set the end piece, stop roughly a foot from the end of the run. From the point where the seal goes into the deck is approximately 8 inches. Pull back 6 inches to make sure you have enough seal to get to the edge of the deck. Cut off this amount of seal, return it to the seal reel, and finish sealing the deck. Slices are necessary when you come to the end of a reel or the seal needs to be repaired. Start the splice point the same way you begin the run. Feed the seal a little beyond the splice point and begin laying seal again. Pull the end of the seal out. It might not be square, so you will probably have to square it up. Apply a small amount of glue, including some to the end. Take any twist out of the adjoining seal, measure to length, and then cut, making sure it is slightly long. Apply more glue to the side walls and to the other end. the seal back a little and push it down into the joint, thus putting tension on the previously installed piece. Inspect the length of seal along the joint. If you have an inconsistent depth in the seal, it will need to be pulled up and reinstalled to the required depth. Take your 5-in-1 tool and run it down along the edge and pull the seal up. This will fix any inconsistent seal depths you may come across. The operating instructions as explained here are very important and should be followed completely to ensure a safe and proper compression seal installation. Please contact a DS Brown technician with any further questions you may have regarding the operation of this machine.